Here we go. NPE 2024 is underway. Who's ready for NPE? It's wall-to-wall -wall plastics for the first time in a long time. It's very excited. This is just amazing. It's just huge. It's just, you, you see so much. You feel that energy? Jacob Sanchez here, NPE 2024. We're kicking it off. This show, it's all about you. The attendees, the people that are here, hasn't happened in six years. New innovations come out every year and people here are ready to learn. They're ready to mingle. They're ready to get after it at the show right now. I'm really looking forward to just experiencing this because I've never been to a conference like this before. NPE kicked off with its first keynote speaker in show history. Michael Chico, president and CEO of Fanuc America, focused on AI and how robotics and automation are revolutionizing the plastics industry. Think about the parts that you're making and just start to think about, I wonder if I could automate that task. Using some pretty unique programming, you can actually go through and actually mimic exactly what a person would do. We're problem solvers, that's what we do. That's what our job is really for the industry is from as an automation company, we wanna look and solve people's problems. And our mission is to transform the world through automation. These are thousands of attendees flooding the show floor here at MPE 2024. They're looking for solutions. They're looking for new innovations. They want to have conversations. People that are here today are here for a reason and they want to do more for their business and they want to work with you. Let's go check out the FISA booth. Here at FISA, we're demonstrating our ultrasonic technology and our ultrasonic technology is critical for each tool room across the country to eliminate the manual labor associated with typical traditional mold cleaning practices. With ultrasonics, we provide a magnetostrictive transducer operating at 20,000 hertz, and at that frequency, we can remove essentially any unwanted contaminants from the surface. Make sure you visit the FISA booth here in the South Hall at booth 30142, where we're demonstrating our ultrasonic technologies, uh, piezo versus magneto, and why you should always go with a magnetostrictive transducer operating at 20,000 hertz for your mold cleaning needs. I'm starting to feel how big this show is and I'm only in the West Hall. I need to start heading over to the South, but luckily I got the NPE app on my phone. It's gonna help me get to the South Hall. I can basically plan my entire week with this thing. Make sure to get it downloaded on your Apple and Android. And start finding great exhibitors like BASF. Hi, I'm Scott with BASF. We're so excited to be at NPE 2024. This year's theme is Go Create, and we're welcoming our customers and potential customers to join us on our journey. I wish people knew more about BSF and just all the different solutions that we're in. We have solutions from plastics additives to engineering plastics, additive manufacturing, as well as TPU. We just have a lot of solutions that customers should know about. What sets BSF apart is our passion for customers and our deep technical expertise. I think in every area you'll find technical experts who know what they're talking about and a passion to work with customers. Not everybody can get those angles. If you're trying to level up your game on social media and you want that fresh look, NPE TV's Care More has the place for you here at NPE. There's always a lot happening here at West Lobby C, including the NPE merchandise store where you can check out all the new NPE swag. You can also check out NPE TV and the podcast point. And last but not least, check out the Headshot Lounge where you can get a brand new free corporate headshot from Tuesday through Thursday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. It's a great opportunity for you to boost your first impression. NPE Studio is giving us access to plastics leaders, creators, and innovators all week long here at the show. Amy Sweezy is with one of them right now. Hi everybody, I'm Amy Sweezy. This is NPE TV, and my next guest is John Kaminsky. John is with Technor Apex. Thank you so much for being here. Fantastic, great to see you, Amy. So, Technor Apex is a very big sponsor of this show. Why is that so important? Oh. NPE is a fantastic uh, environment that allows us to you know, collaborate with our customers, with our vendors, with the entire ecosystem 
helping to bring material solutions to the entire uh, planet. Well, thank you for being a sponsor. We appreciate that. You've been with the company for quite a while. 100 years old, that's amazing. That's a big birthday. What does that mean to you? Yeah, um, I joined Techno Apex five years ago. I had worked at some fantastic organizations, large organizations who are really pioneers, right, in American industry and in the plastics industry. But when I learned about Techner Apex, Techner Apex had a hundred year legacy of really having customer intimacy, focusing on solving difficult problems. But most importantly, they really tackled those problems, focused with their values and focused on their people and doing it the right way. I was really excited to join the Techner Apex team and um, I've been very excited ever since I joined. Well, obviously this is a, an industry that's constantly evolving, right? So how do you work with customers and as their needs are changing, as their needs are evolving, how do you bend and flex with that? Yeah, um, you really have to stay close, right? You really have to focus on collaboration and partnership. And that's something that there's a great legacy at Techner Apex. And you have to um, be current and out there in the marketplace and learn about the, the key trends and understand uh, what's happening and how you can partner to bring new solutions into the marketplace. And that's something that the team is, is fantastic at doing and uh, we're excited to, to do that here at MPE this week. What are you most excited about for the next 100 years? <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, it's, um, it's amazing to think back on. Um, and really, Techno Apex started all the way back as a tire retreader, you know, 100 years ago, and then got into polymer materials and compounded materials and material solutions. And as I, we look forward 100 years, we're really, we want to build on the legacy that we have around mm -hmm. partnership, our people, and our great products. We want to think about solving tough problems for customers in partnership with those ecosystems and really bringing sustainable and innovative solutions for the next 100 years. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for being a sponsor, and I hope you have a great week. Thank you so much, Amy. Take care. All right. This is NPE 2024. Finding great ways to reuse plastics is important to professionals in NPE 2024. Let's listen to a powerful recycler story. The person that's watching their kid play on a turf field be able to explain that when that turf reaches end of life, we're able to recycle that. With the advanced recycling technology that we're using now, recycling is real and is happening right now. With the collaboration with Cyclix and Exxon Mobil, to take that the next step, to actually take that product, push it through multiple processes. Recycling is real and that advanced recycling is happening every day. Education is key here at NPE 2024. It's key in all industries. I am standing in one of the three stages that NPE is hosting this year, the innovation stage, the sustainability stage, there's a bottling stage, and it's all about education. There's even hundreds of rooms, education sessions going on all week long. You need to check them out. It will elevate your game, elevate your business, and give you new information you didn't even know you were looking for. The innovation stage was active all day with expert lecturers on topics of interest. One that filled the room was about harnessing the power of Industry 4.0 and taking advantage of technology to decrease waste and increase revenue. There's a variety of tools around Industry 4.0, depending on the digital maturity of the client or the, or the manufacturer, all the way from visibility and data capture on the plant floor up to tracking real-time metrics all the way to leveraging artificial intelligence and machine learning to become more competitive around production, maintenance, quality. The vision being, you know, how can you use what you have around people, process, and technology to drive a near zero downtime and a near zero waste strategy for your business. Critical economic insights were front and center Monday as Plastics Industry Association's chief economist reviewed how plastics contribute to the U.S. economy. Since we have long arms and touch upon many goods, services that consumers use, households use, but if you look at business inventories and the value of which, you can tell that it's somewhat flattened. We're still waiting for that big inventory decrease that will cause an uptick in production. The United Nations Plastics Treaty will shape how we make, sell, and transport products across the world. During an industry briefing, 
we learned how the negotiation process is going. Where we are at is essentially this really interesting middle point from where the draft was supposed to be to where it's going to go. And so we still have a lot of work as an industry to get together to, to really educate all of the negotiators on all of the amazing innovations that are out there that solve the problems that exist and how the industry can be part of those solutions. As you can tell, sustainability is a hot topic at the show. Now let's hear from another recycler working to make the world a better place. What I wish people knew about recycling is that it's real, that we are doing it. We do it every day. We're using a lot of PCR and PCR is recycled material. It's something that you can just keep using over and over again. Plastic products are essential on how we live our lives, definitely. Honestly, I think if we wasn't recycling here, I couldn't work here. Recycling is real. Recycling is real. Now let's stop by the Gion booth. Gion is a custom compounder. So we leverage our expertise and our experience across 13 manufacturing facilities globally, as well as four innovation centers to really create a custom compound for our customers that is focused on value and sustainability. We really understand our customer base as well as what are their needs downstream and for their customers and then utilize that information and expertise and our legacy within the business to really create that compound that ultimately saves money and time and adds to revenue for their companies. We are very proud to be a recently certified great place to work which means we have a very passionate and eager group of employees that are ready to provide very high quality products and services to our customer base. If you cross borders to get here to the NPE show, this is where worlds meet, the International Attendee Lounge. We wanna give you a space to network, a space to relax, a space to just be yourself. This is for all of you all week long. Come here for snacks, refreshments. If you wanna have a meeting of your own with somebody that you met upstairs, bring them here to West Hall 101 AB. There are two different rooms, plenty of space for everyone. We really can't wait to see you. Kara Moore shows us a few other lounges our attendees should check out. You can easily put a few miles on your walking shoes, walking the NPE show floor, and this is a great place for first time attendees to relax. This is the first time attendee lounge, and I'm joined now by Don Parrish, and he's here to talk a little bit about your experience so far at NPE. Well, I've attended a lot of trade shows, Kara. Some big ones, small ones, but this is the biggest. Uh, I thought it was very well put together and was amazed at the number of exhibitors and the amount of money that they spent in putting together these massive displays. That shows a real commitment to the industry. This has been a premier effort from NPE. I guess we can expect that in the future. And now you have a great place to relax with other first time attendees as well. Karen, after five hours, my feet hurt so bad, <laughs> I was looking for a place to rest the dogs. <laughs> well, you found it. All right, thanks so much Thank for joining Karen. us. Let's head back to Amy Sweezy in the studio for another special guest. I'm Amy Sweezy with NPE TV. Joining me now is Matt Seaholm, the CEO for the Plastics Industry Association. Thank you so much for being here. Hey, thanks for being here with us. So we're back six years uh, later. What are you excited about this year? What am I not excited about? Uh, I mean, I've gotten the chance to walk around both halls. There is so much new stuff going on. There are some great machines running. You can learn so much. That's what's awesome about what this show is. It's a showcase for the industry and there is nothing that you can't find here. What do you think is one of the biggest challenges that you have for the industry? Yeah, I think a lot of it is reputation. Um, there are so, there's so much misinformation out there about plastic. And frankly, there are low recycling rates. We have low recycling rates. We have to get them up. And that's why we're so committed to doing so. The more circular the industry is, the less likely it is people are going to feel bad about using plastic. That's our job. That's what reputation is, is all about, and that's where advocacy, communications, and sustainability come in. We want to make sure that people feel good about using plastic. And as long as that reputation is, is not where it needs to be, we also see the, the regulatory and legislative hurdles being thrown up in front of our industry as well. 
So it's an ongoing fight, but NPE is, is one of the best places that we can kind of show what we're doing as an industry. And that's, that's why I'm excited for this week. And there's so many sessions, so many learning opportunities this entire week. I was really excited on the agenda to see that there's the first ever Women in Plastics Breakfast. Yes, Tell yes. me about that. Yeah, so tomorrow morning, uh, we've got the Women's in Plastic Breakfast. It's, listen, it's an evolving industry, and what you're seeing is not just a growth in the number of women in the industry, but in leadership roles in the industry. And that's what this breakfast is all about. It's a networking opportunity, but it's also to really highlight some incredible people doing some really great things in the industry. So I'm looking forward to that one as well. Anything else you want to add about this week that I haven't asked? Boy, I think uh, if, if it's not obvious, the energy is through the roof. I mean, this place is bursting at the seams with people just so eager to get back, get in their booths, sell their stuff, talk about the great things their company is doing. And we're proud to provide the platform to do it. Fantastic. Matt Seaholm, thank you so much for being here and sharing with us about this week. Thank you. Have a great time. You too. <laughs> All right. This is NPE 2024. Even without the peanut butter, these jars still have their uses. My man, Dave, I hey, appreciate Mo, the time, brother. Yep. So I heard that this is the place to be one of two recycling centers here at the NPE show. Correct. This one specifically is sponsored by Conair. What do you have going on that is basically turning this into something new? What, what is the life cycle that you're helping fulfill for this product? Okay, well, let me take you around and show you. Yeah. So we're getting all these containers from the bottle zone here at MPE. All this scrap is being mm -hmm. generated right here. So we're loading them in these carts. We're coming to the first uh, component of this system, which is this uh, conveyor. Yeah. This conveyor is nothing more than a device to get the material- From A to B? From A to B, yeah. exactly. We go up, go through the system, go through metal detection to make sure we're not getting any metal in the machine. We have a granulator here. Uh, that's where we're actually doing all the cutting of the material with a new, a new uh, uh, control that we just introduced at MPE that actually helps our customers with preventative maintenance. It's gonna tell them when they need to do certain types of maintenance It has haptic in feedback on the inside, maybe manages the dullness of those um, the little yeah, cutters. We know, we know exactly when the knives need to be changed. We tell the customer uh, and we do that through different sensors in the machine for vibration and nice. temperature and whatnot. So from there, we come into this system. We call this an air wash system. <laughs> uh, this is the granulate that we're getting out of the machine. And this system not only evacuates, but also separates the dust from the material. Dust is, a, is not a good thing when you're reprocessing plastic. The dust typically will heat up faster mm -hmm. and it, it, it can cause imperfections in the material itself. So what we want to do is we want to make the regrind as clean as we possibly can. So that's why we're removing the dust and that's what this system does. This is where all the dust is being collected on, on this end here. Interesting. 100% of this material is being recycled, not only the the, uh, the good regrind, but yeah. also the dust. Dude, I appreciate your time, yeah. brother. I appreciate Thank what you, you appreciate and Conair it. do. At the end of the day, everyone, this is what we're talking about at NPE. When we're talking about a more sustainable plastics economy, when we're talking about the life cycle of these products, these aren't just one-offs, not anymore. Companies are figuring out new ways to turn this into this and eventually into something new. NPE is more than just this beautiful technology. It's about the people. Please join me. This Wednesday from 11 to 3, I'm going to be volunteering with many other people for NPE's first ever community service event, the Hunger Project event. We're going to be putting food together, packages together for people in need. I am tremendously grateful for being allowed to help out with this event. I want you there too. Hey, if you're dropping any photos, if you're dropping any videos on social from this event, people you're meeting, use that hashtag, NPE2024. That's what you gotta do on socials. I leave you with this. Beautiful sounds and scenery from NPE's opening party. I'm Jacob Sanchez. Thanks for watching NPE TV.